Welcome to my first tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to make these earrings. They're really cute and they're really easy to make. Okay, so to crochet our first circle, it's going to be this small loop. So you're going to take your small plastic ring and I'm using white crochet thread here and we're just going to put the thread through the ring like this. And now we're going to create our slip knot. So wrap the yarn around, pull it, and then we're going to insert our crochet hook and I'm using a size 1.90. Put that through the slip knot and then we're going to tighten it. And this tail right here, we're actually going to crochet around it, so we're going to hold it next to the plastic ring. You don't have to crochet around the entire length of this um, piece of yarn. You're just going to do the first few stitches over top of it, and then after we're done crocheting around the entire ring, we'll just snip off the excess. So we're going to start by chaining one, and then we're going to do double crochet, or I'm sorry, we're going to do single crochets around the entire plastic ring. So put it through, single crochet. And we're just doing the single crochets around the plastic ring. So we're sticking the crochet hook underneath the plastic ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops on your hook. Then again, crochet hook through the center of the plastic ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. I know it's kind of hard to see because our ring is so small. And we're just going to do, continue to do that around the entire ring. Okay, so that's what my ring looks like so far. And I'm going to continue single crocheting around and I will meet you at the okay. end. I've crocheted around the entire small ring. And this is what it'll look like. You can see a row of stitches going all the way around. Now I have to join the round. And to do so, we're going to just put a slip stitch through the very first single crochet that we made. So just stick your hook through. Yarn over and pull it through the loops on your hook. And that's it, you're done. So now we can just cut the crochet thread, pull it through, tie a knot, And then we're just going to take a needle and weave this end through the stitches and then just snip off the excess. I'm going to start with our large ring in black yarn. And I start by putting the large plastic ring through the crochet thread. And then we're going to make the slip knot. Pull it tight, insert our size 1.9 crochet hook through the loop, and we're going to tighten the slip knot. Now we're going to chain one, and 
and we're going to do single crochets all around the hoop. And I'm going to start by single crochets by single crocheting a top of this cord here to hide it. And you don't need to crochet over the entire cord, but if you just do a few stitches over top, then you can cut the remaining part that's sticking out after you're done. So there's my first single crochet, second single crochet, third single crochet, and you can see, there you go, I'm crocheting over top of this chain right here. Four single crochet, fifth single crochet, and right now I'm just going to push this strand to the back and just forget about it. We've done enough stitches over top of it that it's held in place, and after we're done crocheting all around the hoop, we'll just cut this part off. Another single crochet. Single crochet. And I'm going to continue to single crochet around the entire hoop and then I'll meet you guys at the end. Okay, so now I've crocheted around the entire hoop with my black crochet thread. Now I have to join the round. And to do that, I'm going to place a slip stitch through the very first single crochet I made. So I'm going to take my hook, put it through that first crochet stitch, wrap the yarn around, pull it through, and then pull it through the loop on my hook. And now I have the entire large loop made. I'm going to cut the remainder And I'm just going to pull my hook out and tie a knot. And there you go. Now I'll just take a tapestry needle, or actually I'm probably going to use a smaller needle for this, and weave the ends through my stitches and cut the excess off. And after you've woven in your ends and cut your thread, this is what you'll end up with. Okay, so now we have our small white circle and our larger black circle completely made. And I will show you how to assemble it. To assemble it, both rings are going to be joined by a jump ring. So what we're going to do are take our needle nose pliers and we're just going to open the jump ring slightly. Okay. So hopefully you can see the jump ring is open now. And we're going to stick it through our crochet stitches on the black ring. Like that. and then we're going to stick the other end through our crochet stitches on our white ring. Okay, so now I have both rings on the jump loop, or jump ring, I'm sorry. And I'm just going to take my needle nose pliers and I'm going to close the ring back up. There we go. So now we have the bottom portion of our earring complete. Now I'm going to take the top fish hook earring and we're going to open that loop and I'm going to attach it to the top of the white loop.
You can also add another jump ring to the top of your white crochet loop if you'd like a little extra dangle. There, I've opened that up. So now I can slide it through my white crochet ring stitches. There we go. Now I just need to close this earring. There we go. And your earring is complete. Now you can just do the same exact thing to make your second earring and you'll have the set.